Back in 2021, the grid in Texas, it ground to a halt. I mean, it wasn't functioning. There was a winter storm and the grid just collapsed. I mean, this is the worst possible time you can have your grid go down when it's literally freezing. I mean, it was below zero. It was snowing in Texas. Well, since then, the grid in Texas has completely changed. And it's really just down to one technology. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Texas isn't really, you know, they are definitely installing a lot of solar, but nowhere near what you see in California. And honestly, that's kind of fair because the truth is Texas has so much wind. There is so much wind in Texas that now an enormous percentage of the state's electricity supply comes from wind. Texas has planned more renewable energy capacity expansion over the next five years than the rest of the United States combined. That's not a made up number. That's factually true. Here's the thing, though. Even though a lot of that is planned and hasn't happened yet, there is literally football fields of batteries that have helped Texas's grid when electricity demand is at its highest. Now, we talk about California having these mega batteries that have saved the grid there. Well, the same exact thing has actually happened in Texas. Texas's battery storage capacity has grown 2,500% since the 2021 winter storm. So as weird as it sounds, we actually kind of have that winter storm to thank for Texas's move to, to massive lithium ion phosphate battery storage. A lot of those batteries, by the way, have been built by Tesla. Curious cattle load at the herd of people examining rows of shipping containers about 30 yards away on an overcast May morning. A heavy duty fence surrounds the inconspicuous gray boxes, air conditioners cooling their precious cargo amid a gentle hum. The property borders ranch land and an asphalt maker all about three miles south of Hicks Airfield in Fort Worth. Electricity transmission lines cast a long shadow over the industrial site. WFAA.com says that a lot of people saw, like us, the opportunity to fulfill a need, said Stephanie Smith, walking the gravel path between the boxes. As she turned into the array, an engineer unlocked one container to reveal its components, dozens of metal canisters resembling old computer hard drives with neatly organized wires protruding from their ends. A high voltage sign warns unlockers to stay away from the machines. Not that they're dangerous, but just because they don't want anyone messing with them. What's happening in Texas is really exciting, said Smith. I love what batteries can do for the grid. Smith is a chief operating officer at Eolian, which operates from the Chisholm Grid Battery Farm. Eolian buys power off nearby transmission infrastructure to charge its array when electricity is plentiful, like during the middle of the day when there's an excess capacity of solar and its wholesale price is low. It will sell that stored electricity back to the grid when demand drives up prices. The process is similar to stock trading. And now a lot of Americans are doing it themselves with their own home power walls and solar systems. You're trying to take advantage of the times when there's extra power, and then you're putting it in the market when the market needs it, said Smith. Now, generally the time that this electricity is being sold back into the grid is in the peak, the peak time of the day, 6 to 10 p.m. Chisholm Grid began charging and discharging about two years ago, making it one of Texas's oldest battery farms. The industry, though, is growing at a literally exponential rate, particularly in the Lone Star State. Combined, Texas's battery energy storage systems can hold more than eight gigawatts of electricity, a 35% capacity increase from January the 1st. But honestly, these numbers are actually old. They're based on January to July. Since then, August and September, even more large batteries have come online in Texas. There were only a few battery farms in Texas during the 2021 winter storm, which prompted days long power outages and killed 246 people. Battery storage capacity has increased by 2,500% since that fateful storm in February of 2021. You can see that incident is one of the urgencies that pushed a lot of people to put more energy into the grid, said University of Texas Arlington professor, 
Chris Boyer. Boyer teaches about Texas's power grid at the University of Texas at Arlington, which has developed a degree plan for engineers who want to work with emerging technology in the energy field. Now, if you're an engineer, I highly recommend you do something like this, right? Just going and getting a degree these days, it's not enough. If you actually have the option to work with an emerging technology like this, that's where you go. Graduates are in high demand, partly because of the growth in the battery storage and renewable energy sectors, which has really driven Tesla's growth themselves. Tesla's EV growth, car sales growth, it's really been almost nothing this year. But their growth in battery storage deployment has been astronomical. Energy storage is a relatively new field for the utility space, Boyer said. Just in the last two years, the amount of energy storage has more than doubled. Today, is about 5% of our generation capacity. But by 2030, it will represent around 30% of Texas's grid capacity. Electric vehicle makers have led the research and development of battery storage systems. The cells inside the shipping containers at Chisholm Grid are similar to those inside of an electric car, whether that be a BYD with a lithium ion phosphate blade battery or Tesla with their lithium ion phosphate battery technology as well. Economics are what's driven the growth. Now, a lot of people think it's subsidies. A lot of people think it's actually not about market forces, but it is. The truth is, because the cost of batteries has come down by more than 90% over the last 10 years, batteries now make economic sense. Batteries are simultaneously becoming more efficient and cheaper to manufacture, especially as the price of lithium is falling. More importantly, Texans' seemingly unquenchable thirst for electricity has lured battery operators to the Lone Star State. Battery energy projects are making actually really good financial returns though, said Boyer, adding that investors can recoup the money they spend on a battery storage facility in five years. Now imagine you, you invested in a, a new property, right? A new apartment block. And when you invested, you, you were aware that you could pay off that entire mortgage for that entire apartment block in five years time. That's an, that's an astronomical return. You can really see now why these, these batteries are being built all over the world, in particular Australia, in the United States, because they are so incredibly profitable. Now, for evidence of this, you can see what happened in South Australia. Here in Adelaide, Elon Musk promised that Tesla would build a battery within 100 days, and if they didn't complete it within 100 days, it'd be free. Well, Tesla finished it within 100 days, and so then the company paid for it. Now. The battery made so much money that two years later, they doubled the size of that battery. Energy storage systems fill a summertime gap between 6 and 9 p.m. when Texans are running their air conditioners. They get home from work, their house is hot, they turn on the air conditioning. And the sun, though, is still setting at that time behind solar panels and coastal winds are not yet blowing turbines. So, you know, at that period of the time, at that period of the day, you're not getting much sun or if any generation. That's when grid demand is at its highest. In the past, Texas paid natural gas plants to wait and on standby for this time. Now those are called pika plants and they are incredibly expensive to run. The electricity coming from them is incredibly expensive to buy. The move ensured gas plants would be operable during tight grid conditions, but effectively took gas plants out of the market during the day. A generator cannot operate normally and sit in reserve at the same time. So therefore, they've got to make up for all that lost money that they're you know, not making during the day in the evening. Thus, really, really high prices for picker plants. Aurora Energy researchers found that batteries are replacing natural gas picker plants in the reserve market all over Australia and the United States, allowing the thermal generators to participate in the more lucrative real-time market. During a cold snap in January 2024, the analysts found batteries saved Texans around 750 million US dollars in only two days by freeing up gas plants to produce electricity as demand warranted. The increased competition in the real-time market kept wholesale electricity prices low. Everyone can play their part in the market, Smith said. Gas is reliable. It's there all the time. Batteries, for example, can, instead of gas, sit in reserve, ready to jump in when you need them at a microsecond's notice. Because batteries have a limited amount of time they can power or charge, it makes more sense for the batteries to be the ones in reserve, she said. 
Batteries can also respond to problems much faster than gas plants, which take probably around five to 10 minutes to fire up. Now in that five to 10 minutes, you've had no power for that period of time. They don't have mechanical parts. There's no moving, said Boyer. You just turn them on or turn them off when needed. They're readily and instantaneously available. In the spring, ERCOD projected Texas's battery storage capacity would grow to around 16 gigawatts by mid-2025. So it will more than double over the next year. That's incredible. The, the energy storage in Texas will more than double over the next year, even though it has increased by 2,500% over the past three years. Like I said, exponential growth. Monday, Jupiter Power connected a battery farm in Houston to the grid. It is the first grid scale energy storage facility in Houston. On the same day, batteries discharge more electricity to the Texas grid than ever before. Researchers and startup companies are exploring ways to involve homeowners in the battery boom. And it is a boom, make no mistake. Cadel, the world's biggest battery manufacturer, just made their largest profit ever over the past three months. A program currently in its pilot phase would allow Texans to sell the power they collect from rooftop solar panels and store that power in home scale batteries, such as Tesla's Powerwall. Eolian's Chisholm grid is going to expand as well. With the amount of demand that's growing here in Texas, we need everybody coming together, said Smith. We need all the megawatts we can get. As I mentioned earlier, the Texas grid is in the phase of being completely disrupted from fossil fuels to renewables. Texas is planning on installing more renewables than the rest of America combined over the next three to five years. That is a revolution. Thanks for watching.